the event that you need to replace your pressure tank, I have a tank here that we've got from Home Depot that is ready to go. We put a 10 inch tank T in the unit. And so I've already put Teflon tape on each one of my fittings, but I wanted to make sure I explained how each one goes into the tank T. Uh, this is a drain valve. It's gonna thread directly into this line. And again, the Teflon tape will be able to hold it all together and keep a nice tight seal. Then we have a pressure relief valve. This allows the pressure in the event the pressure gets too, too high up in the tank, that this will actually open up and prevent any issues. So we're gonna thread that in there. The next device is a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge will allow us to know what pressure is at this tank. You have a pressure gauge on the pump, but also you'll have a second one that's gonna be threaded into this tank T, and this will allow us to know what pressure is at the tank point. And the last thing we have is a small quarter inch plug. This plug here is to relieve pressure into the system, and we're gonna thread that in as well. Now, this is the tank assembly. It's ready to be put in with the system. All we're gonna do is we have a, a one inch female line. The one inch female line is gonna go to the incoming line, or the outgoing line to the home. And then we're gonna have a one inch female going to this side, which is gonna to go towards the pump. Now that the tank assembly is completed, we need to make sure that we test the pressure. This tank should have a cut in pressure at around 28 PSI. The reason why is because we put in a jet pump that has a 30 to 50 PSI pressure switch, and it needs to be two PSI below the 30 uh, PSI. So 28 PSI is our, is our cut in, and you simply just remove this plug here, use a regular tire gauge to test the pressure, and if it's at 28 PSI, you're fine. If not, you can either relieve air or you can add air by taking a pump and just pumping right into this. Once you've done that and the unit's at 28 PSI, you can put the cap back on and the tank's ready to perform.